Today I decided to read the article, College Basketball's Transition Game by Michael Smith. At the beginning of the article, he talks about how people have been demanding change in college basketball since 2017 when the FBI investigation ended in multiple arrests and NCAA sanctions for college programs, um, but how college basketball is ready to move on from that with a series of schedule changes, rule changes, and different ways that fans will be able to view the product. Um, in starting this year, actually, the Champions Classic is going to feature the top four teams from the preseason AP poll, and conferences such as the ACC are going to start scheduling conference games right off the bat rather than later in the season, and this is going to help fans get more involved right at the beginning of the season. Um, and then they're also changing the three-point distance from the regular college three-point line to the international three-point line, which is right around 22 feet, I believe. And in the next couple of years, you'll start to see tablets popping up on the sidelines and in huddles rather than blackboards. This is going to give coaches access to live stats from the games and information that they haven't been able to access before. And then at the end of the article, he talked about how this year college basketball is starting to stream a lot more, which will help it reach a whole new set of fans and really help people get connected to the sport. I think this is really important because they're trying to reach a different age group here. And then the rules, I think, are super important because as all sports need to, they need to continue to develop and change with the times in order for their sport to stay relevant and profitable. Thank you guys. Have a good weekend.